125 words per minute. You've been reading for almost six minutes now. That means you should that means you should have read 600 words or almost to the end of this passage by now. You have three minutes left to finish reading and finish your annotations. I'm looking to see who's our fast, accurate fourth grade readers. Go.
have one more minute left. If I haven't already, go down to the um, the picture down below. Again, I have one minute left. If I haven't already, go down to the picture below. Kelly's at the picture, so is Randy. So again, if I'm not at the picture, go there now.
that's deep. What's deep? Where's that to Are you more seconds to answer that question? Tyrant's rereading to make sure he chooses the best answer. I need to choose the answer in 10 seconds. Moving on to question number seven, sorry, number six. Everybody go ahead and read question number six. Ready, set, go. What is the main purpose of paragraph nine? All right, so we say we need to make sure we're going back to the text to find our answer. What paragraphs do we need to go back to to figure this out? Nine. nine. Go ahead and reread nine and answer the question. You have one minute and 30 seconds. Josiah's rereading paragraph nine. Question. If I have time left over, reread. Make sure I chose the best answer. Remember, there's a lot of close answers, but only one right answer. Together, check our answers. Go ahead and put your fist up. The question said, what is the main purpose of paragraph nine? It's either one, to explain why crocodiles smile, two, to teach about an alligator's lower teeth, three, to summarize the rest of the article, or four, to warn the reader not to get close to the crocodile fist up. Let's see what we wrote down, what we chose. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, show. Awesome. I see some fours and I see some and I see mainly one. We're gonna go check to see which one is actually the correct answer. Where did we say we need to go back to reread to see what's the correct answer? Paragraph nine. Paragraph nine. Paragraph nine. Let's go ahead and reread and then some friends are gonna tell me why they chose whatever answer they chose. Everybody, let's read it together. Ready, set, go. Here's, Here's some advice. advice. Don't, Don't smile at the crocodile. Don't, Don't do it, it. even it's though the crop may look as if it is smiling at you. A crocodile bottom may stick up outside its upper lip, creating what looks like a grin. The alligator has the same teeth, but they are hidden under its lip. Even though a crocodile may look as if it is smiling at you, it is not. Luckily, its teeth are large enough to be seen from a distance. If you should see them, wave a quick goodbye and skip right to after a while from the down. For a friend that chose number one, can you tell me why did you choose number one and what is evidence to prove your answer? Go ahead, Tyler. You said it's to explain why crocodiles smile. Where do they do that? I choose those not. I mean, I choose to explain why crocodiles smile because in paragraph now, and now uh, it said don't smile a crocodile because that it can be hit, hidden teeth under its mouth. So explain to me. So 
Go ahead. Louder, girl. Why did you pick four, Frank? Loud and proud for you, Daddy. Okay, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I didn't under really understand what you said, friend. I want to make sure that everybody does get your point across that I believe what you're saying is correct. So can you say it loud and proud? Why do you feel like A is not the correct answer and 40 is? You got it, my girl. I understand the people in the room, you may be feeling like whatever, you got it. Because you talk louder than that. Okay, my friend got the best use of everything. Somebody put in their own words. How we know yes. it's not A? How we know it's not A and it's um D? King. It's about, it's about it doesn't talk about how they smile. It's just how you cannot smile at all. Okay, so you said it's to warn. You said B says to warn the reader not to get close to a crocodile. How do you know they warn us not to get close to a crocodile? Go ahead, Dylan. Hold on, my eyes are on Dylan. So let's show the correct answer. Let's see why it's the right. It says don't smile at a crocodile. So what is the warning there in your own words? It's saying just because it looks like it's smiling doesn't mean it is smiling. Correct. It's the warning us. Even though it may look like it's smiling at you, it does, it's not necessarily really smiling at you. The correct answer is D. All right. I don't want us to change our answers. Leave it as that. Thank you. Next question. Everybody, let's read the next question together. Ready, set, go. Why does the author mean? Sorry, every voice, ready, set, go. Why does the author mean? What is the text picture that they're talking about? 